song, so if you'd like to do your introductions. Well, this is, um, the song is called uh, Dead Lion. Well, I'm from we obviously know you're not from Stoke. No. So, uh, <laughs> no, I wish I was though. I would die from your accents. You're so charming. We're both accents. You're welcome. I've lived in Boston for 20 years. I've lived in Boston for I'm from California, from Los Angeles. So I'm kind of based out of there. I went, um, I've been doing music for a while. I did a bunch of punk, punk rock bands for a while and then just went to psychedelic rock and then eventually just started listening to more like Bob Dylan and Woody Guthrie and uh, Buka White and Blind, Blind Lemon Jefferson and just sort of getting more into the rootsy um, aspect of music and um, I wanted to incorporate more like voice and guitar together so it kind of stole my heart a bit so. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Well, Anybody right mentions Buka White it's always good in my Oh yeah. Tell you, you know. Yeah, get back to the blues. Yeah, definitely. That, that's, where it's, that's where it's from. Oh, it is, yeah, from. definitely. Now, you've just done the um, acoustic festival. Yeah. And how did that go? Oh, it was awesome. It was so cool. You talk to her, it's um, really beautiful. The weather was, I mean, for me and Marissa, we had an amazing time there, and it was awesome. We saw really great bands. We saw, you know, Ghost Strangers played. They were Who were awesome. they? Who were they? I don't know. Who are they? <laughs> no, we were, they were awesome. They were awesome. And um, a bunch of other just folk artists and a lot of, actually, like, it felt like a lot of English roots music almost. Like, you know, very folky and, mm. and just very, loved it. It was awesome. It's, it was described as a very family-friendly festival. It was. That's a bit of that. It's 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 it is. the home of the gingerbread man you talk to. It's the home <laughs> of the race course. Even me. It's the home of the race course. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, been there yeah. a few times. Halfway to between here and Derby, well, there mm -hmm. you go. Yeah, would you like to do another one? Sure. 
So, um, yeah, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan, by the way, folks, is 70 tomorrow, and I think we're going to play the Dylan track a little bit later. So, um, we'll get you, get you in the mood for that one, surely. I think the band Meister played one earlier on. Or a, or a, or a Dylan cover. Yeah. So he informs me. I knew we couldn't be trusted with controls while I'm there. Yeah, Bob Dylan's a good one, didn't he? So, um, well, I'll we'll turn up a bit more often than in that case, won't we? <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll, I think I will. We'll bring a note from your mum. Yeah, I will do next time. Yeah. Where's your PE kit? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to do, is it? Just behave yourself. You anyway, what are you going to do next for all this, please? Just talk, just think you guys just talk. Oh, please, don't, 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 don't talk. Go ahead, talk about your day. No, give no For goodness sake. The song is, um, it's called Throw Right On Me, and um, it's inspired by a, um, by a folk artist. He's actually Swedish, and his um, name is Tallest Man on Earth, but yeah, it's kind of inspired by him. He does a lot of folk music as well. But yeah, I wrote this after listening to one of the GPs, so it's cool. I hope you like it. Take it away. <laughs> All right. 